Okay, everybody has two, two handouts. All right, welcome. So some of you just heard me speak on DMG, but today, right now, we're going to talk on vision, not just solutions for the eyes. Okay. Um, I know I just asked this question a moment ago. Is, is anybody here for the first time? The Tawana Wellness Week. You are, sir. Welcome. Okay. Anybody else? Everybody else has been here before, okay? So, again, as I mentioned in uh, the last talk, first of all, thank you for coming. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. And it's brave in the weather and the rainstorms and ice storms. But uh, this is our last wellness event for the year, okay? Normally, we have these every two months, but this, then, this will be our longest stretch, basically, due to the weather that we go. So our next one will be till March, first weekend of March. So March 7th to March 14th will be our next wellness event. So, you know, please mark that on the calendar and please keep that in mind when you're, you know, when you're buying your supplements to take advantage of the discounts for next event. So we have free food, free, free, free samples, free literature. Please help yourself. And again, thank you for coming. So my name is Mike Gallagher and I'm a certified lifestyle educator. I'm only here to, during these events, try to help out, answer any questions. I've been doing this for a long time, almost 20 years. Um, there aren't too many questions that I can't help you with. If I don't know the answer, I'll try my best to find it for you, okay? But I'm only here during events. To, uh, otherwise, my normal job is I go around and talk to all different types of healthcare professionals and show them this research, show them the information and implement, try to implement wellness programs into their practices, okay? So I work with a lot of different modalities, a lot of different specialties. I work with some medical doctors, work with some DOs, I work with some uh, chiropractors, pharmacists, naturopaths, nutritionists, kinesiologists, homeopaths, dietitians. Uh, I am working with a group of psychologists now, also working with some certified hypnotherapists now, so again, everybody looks at things a little bit different health-wise. The whole message is the same, trying to improve your health. But if you're interested in any of those other specialties, come see me afterward and I can uh, share with you uh, those referrals, those, okay? And again, if anybody of uh, your current doctors that is open to listening about nutrition, I would love to talk to them as well, so come see me. I have to word on that too. Okay, so Doc today wanted me to speak on vision. This is one of the most common questions that we get asked during these wellness events. Okay, we know so many people have eye problems and eye issues. Okay, now we're not making any claims as far as curing eye issues, but we have had people who have used some of these supplements, and when we see them again at the next wellness event, they don't have those eye problems anymore. Okay, so every case is different. We know that there's a lot of variables, a lot of different things and issues going on. But, you know, again, we're gonna just gonna show you different options for you here and you can do any of them or all of them, but all of these are gonna help in some way with eyes. And at the very worst, it's going to slow down the progression of these eye issues. Okay, so even if it doesn't reverse it or cure it, we can at least dramatically slow the progression of it down considerably, which is, you know, at least that's the best thing that we can do to help with, with eye issues, okay? So, right now in our Nutritional Frontiers line, which is Dr. Weiner's supplement company, these are the four things that we would have to help with eyes, all eye issues. Okay, and we'll talk about each one here in a moment in detail. We have a new herbal tincture called 2020. Omega 3D fish oil, Pro Reds, and Astaxanthin. Astaxanthin Plus is the name of that. So each of these can help with eyes and all eye problems and all eye issues. Again, you can do any of them or all of them. Just depending, the more severe the eye issue, the more I would do all of them if you're able to. But let's talk about this new one, 
2020. Okay, so this is an old herbal tincture. Okay, these are all certified organic herbs. Okay, and when we look at the ingredients, here are the ingredients. Eye bright, white pond lily, ginkgo, horsetail, bilberry, goji, passion flower herb, chrysanthemum flowers, plantain herbs, and lycium fruit. So, a lot of these herbs have been used for centuries, if not thousands of years, okay? At one time before medical doctors world the world, nature pass, world the world. Homeopaths, world the world, okay? And these herbs have been used and have helped many, 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 many people throughout the centuries. So you could take, go to and go to any vitamin store and you could probably buy, find each one of these and you can um, take them all individually. But we try to do is combine them into one formula. We call that synergism, where multiple ingredients work faster and better than buying them individually. And that's what our approach is at Nutritional Frontiers. So I'm just gonna pass it around on the 2020 for you to take a look at <clears throat> on that and let's just kind of break these things down a little bit more in detail and again this is in your handouts as well for you so eye bright so eye bright has been used to relieve or relieve acute irritation in the eyes also can help with mucus and nasal passage issues going on uh, and allergies white pond lily okay so it's found in the marshes throughout the North American, uh, North America, hence the name they're involved there. But these have been found, it has very unique properties to help soothing the mucous membrane of the eye, okay? There's also uh, benefits for GI aspects of it as well. But all eye inflammatory issues, this particular herb has been used for. Ginkgo, so ginkgo has been used for macular degeneration. So a lot of people ask me about that. Ginkgo has been found to show that. There's also some uh, studies that have showed overall with overall vision. Again, it helps with increasing blood circulation, especially to the optic nerve, reduces free radical damage. And free radical is basically the rust on your cells. And this also in turn can help with blindness, help with glaucoma, okay? So ginkgo does a lot of great benefits, helps with memory for overall ma uh, memory issues. Also has been used for tinnitus, ringing of the ears as well. So a lot, a lot of good benefits of ginkgo. Horsetail, okay, so this has been shown to help, um, actually it's concentrated source of mineral, minerals known as silica, okay. But this has been shown to help with skin, hair, nails, bones, connective tissue, okay? But it's been used traditionally for eye disorders, especially allergy components with eye issues. And then we get into bilberry and blueberry. So these have gotten a lot of, uh, a lot of people are aware of these particular nutrients. Again, these are your, your plant pigments found in, rich in, in, in antioxidants. Again, helps strengthening the blood vessels, circulation, helps with platelet aggregation, helps with immune aspects as well. It's been helpful for night vision. Tons of research on that, especially with bilberries as well. Okay. And they also form what's called carotenoids, lutein and zeaxanthin. And again, that whole antioxidant benefit with these particular herbals being used. Chrysanthemum flowers, okay? So again, very similar studies, very similar research. Again, all kind of saying very similar things, helping with overall inflammation. Uh, it's also been shown that this helps with the retinal specifically as well, and overall strengthens visual acuity. And then passion flower, okay? Helps with eye strain helps with eye strain. So you add it all up, and then plantain also has been shown to help, okay, improving vision and reducing conjunctivitis, okay? 
So all those have some benefit. We put it all together in this formula. So the way we would dose it would is a little bit than what the directions say. So if you have any major eye issues, the way I recommend this is two droppers full, okay, with a glass of water or tea, iced tea or green tea or juice in the morning and the same thing in the evening. So twice a day, two in the morning, two in the evening is how I would dose this, especially the more serious eye issues that you have. Okay? Very simple. This is, um, all of our tinctures are alcohol-based, so we just are using enough water to dilute it. If you don't have an issue with that, you could drink it straight, but it, uh, it will wake you up a little bit, let me tell you. Okay? So that's why I recommend just diluting it there with water or juice. Okay, so that's our new herbal tincture 2020. Then we have another supplement which we debuted earlier in the summertime called astaxanthin. So some of you guys have seen this, some of you maybe have not. But astaxanthin is from the carotenoid family. So your carrot family, okay? The bad thing about this, or not the bad thing, but um, the hard thing about this is you would have to consume 6,000 carrots to equal one dropper full. So that's a lot of carrots, okay? That's a lot of carrots. So why don't we just pass that around for people in the back there to see that, okay? So this is, um, most astaxanthin is from the krill family, okay? This is not, this is, comes from uh, an algae source. It's a microalgae, and we're using a very unique uh, manufacturing process called supercritical extraction. And supercritical extraction is a very, very technical um, process that we're gonna simplify very simply by just saying it's, we're using CO2 that gently extracts the ingredient from its natural source without any chemicals, uh, or solvents, or excess heat. So the end result that this is the cleanest, pure source of astaxanthin in the world, okay? So when me and Jamie, when we go to the largest, uh, we go to the largest manufacturing and trade shows and raw material shows, not only do we hear about the latest raw materials and the ingredients, but we also see on the manufacturing side, the latest uh, technology, and this is the latest technology, the super critical extraction. So uh, we're one of the few companies in the world that's using this process, but you probably are going to be hearing more and more about this because it, they cannot make an ingredient any more pure than using this form, super critical. So there's lots of astaxanthin on the market, but no one else is using this form or the manufacturing process. And then they look at the research on astaxanthin. So there's a lot of studies, especially in Japan, that have showed the benefits of uh, astaxanthin in the eyes. So here's a study, just five milligrams of astaxanthin, which would basically be one dropper full per day, showed a 54% reduction in eye fatigue. There's another study that showed improved per depth perception by 46% as well. So most of the studies were between four and six milligrams, so basically one serving a day of astaxanthin. Here's another study in Japan that compared it to prednisone. So if you went to, you know, an eye doctor, and you had a major eye issue, this is what they usually give you, the prednisone, corticosteroid, okay? And of course, that has a lot of negative side effects with it associated. But this study said that astaxanthin was, had very similar benefits without any of the side effects as prednisone, okay? Very, very impressive. By the way, Astaxanthin does a lot of other things. We could do a whole talk on it, but uh, a couple other major things that astaxanthin does, skin, okay, in six week study, one drop per day showed 50% improvement in reducing wrinkles and fine lines, okay? Also, there's tons of research that lowers cholesterol, raises the good, lowers the bad, lowers blood pressure, helps with all blood platelets as well, okay? There's also studies that it helps as far as weight loss as well. So there's a lot, a lot of great benefits of astaxanthin. Um, by the way, we call it astaxanthin plus because it plus is it has vitamin D, a large amount of vitamin D, 5,000 IUs per serving. 
So this would actually replace your vitamin D if you're taking our astaxanthin. So it's really two things in one, astaxanthin plus vitamin D, okay? So eyes, heart, skin, weight loss, and it does about 100 other things too, but those are your major ones right there. So that's a really unique ingredient. You just put it directly right in your mouth. You just shoot it right in your mouth. You do not put it in a glass of water or um, you're not sublingually putting it in. You're just shooting it right in the back of your throat and swallowing, okay, on astaxanthin. Then we get into our fruit and veggies. So most people, you know, don't think of the fruit and veggies helping them with eyes, but yes, the reds. The reds absolutely can help with the eyes. So if you haven't seen that before, we have four different fruit and veggies. This is the one for the eyes. So it helps out with a lot of other things too. But again, this is equal to five servings of fruit and veggies. It's very affordable, cost prohibitive. Tastes like fruit punch. We have samples of it in the back in the juice machine. But helps with liver, the brain, cardiovascular, especially the blood, immune, and the eyes. And in the eyes, it has lycopene has lutein, and it has astaxanthin in there, okay? This is one of our original formulas that we had at Nutritional Frontiers. And Dr. Weiner, if you listen to his radio show, has mentioned on the air numerous times that this was one of the only supplements that he used for his eyes. And he went back and saw his eye doctor, and his eye doctor could not believe the results. His eyes actually improved after taking ProReds. And he's talked about this on the radio. Yes. I see it says L-carnitine and BMG. Yep. Um, those items are also found in cardiostatin. Yes. Well, this is a different type of L-carnitine. Acetyl L-carnitine is a derivative of L-carnitine. And this is teeny tiny amounts of DMG and, and acetyl L-carnitine. The cardiostatin has much higher dosages. So yes, so you can do. Yes, you can absolutely take both. Correct. Yep. In fact, we would recommend both for any heart issues. Yes. Okay. Any other questions on that at all? Okay. Again, we mentioned uh, it is cost. So this is, counts towards your food bill. So this is fruit and veggies. Do we want you to eat your fruit and veggies? Yes, we do. Of course we do. Okay. But this, if you were to buy the amount of fruit and veggies at the grocery store, it would be over $180. In fact, now it's probably closer to $200, $220 worth of fruit and veggies. They normally is 45, today 30% off, so it's another $13 off, down to 30 bucks. So again, it's, it kind of cuts your food bill. It can help with your food bill, so that's another way you should look at these, these fruit and veggie drinks. Obviously, they're convenient, they won't spoil. Uh, on that, again, um, many different fruit and vegetable combinations are in this. Typically things you don't eat on a regular day basis. We also have them in little individual packets there as well. Okay, next, fish oil, omegas, our omega-3D, okay? So most people, here you go. Most people don't think about uh, fish oil and eyes and eye health, but it absolutely has been shown to help with all different types of eye issues, okay? Especially with macular degeneration especially with dry eye syndrome that this is helped out with. Again, fish oil will help with all inflammatory issues. And if you're having eye issues and eye problems, this will help out. Helps with proper drainage from your eye and can also help with eye pressure, known as glaucoma, or just some of the different benefits of fish oil, okay? So ours is actually one of the strongest. The way you look at fish oil, just a quick refresher for you. Fish oil is broken down into two main components is EPA and DHA, that should be an H, okay? We also added 500 IUs of D3 in this as well. Okay, that should be D3 5000, uh, vitamin D. But uh, the research shows you, you want it to be at least 1,000 milligrams for preventative or maintenance of, for fish oil to, for, to be effective, okay? So that would be two a day, two a day gets you over that 1,000 milligram mark. For any type of pain or inflammatory issue, you want this total to equal 
minimum 2,000 milligrams or two grams, which would be three a day, three a day. If you look at fish oil and, and you know, out there in the, the supermarkets and things like that, they use very little EPA, DHA, and the rest is filler. So if you look at the price, it's typically much less because they're not using the main active ingredients uh, in fish oil for it to be effective. So most of those you have, to, you have to take nine a day to equal three of ours. So that's why this is such a much stronger, much better value for you on fish oil. And again, the whole idea is getting the good fats into the cell. So you have all these other bad fats, hydrogenated fats and the trans fats from the diet that's blocking the message from getting into the cellular level. So the good fats reverse this, and that's why it's critical. Now, it takes about three months to get it into the cellular level. So this is not an overnight situation. It takes time. It takes time to get it in there. But that's what the research does show for it to be effective. Okay? So we just listed some basic tips on proper eye health. Again, some common sense tips. You can do all, there's exercises you can do for your eyes, of course, as well on this. We recommend all those things. But again, this is, um, we listed some different tips and suggestions right there for you to check out. Obviously the diet is critical, not just in your eyes, but on every health issue. So if you uh, open up this brochure, the vi new vision one that we just debuted today, you can see again, we listed all the different supplements for you to take, and we listed all the healthy food options there for you to try to focus on and eating that are excellent for your eyes as well. So some of these you might be familiar with, some of these you might not be. So again, there's just some suggestions and tips for you on that. So make sure you take that with you and put that on the fridge, bring that to the grocery store on there. And try to be consistent with eating the regular foods there, okay? So that's pretty much it on the eyes. Is there any questions or anything about this or anything else? Makes sense? Yeah. On the other product, I think it's Douglas Laboratory, L-carnosine yep. and Occutone. Are yep. those in conjunction with it? Yes, you can use them in conjunction. Those are um, excellent options as well. L-carnosine would be, I think it's more for cataracts mm -hmm. on that. Mac, there's MacuShield, there's Occutone. So yes, there's some other excellent options out there. Again, I would always um, try to make an appointment with one of the professionals here because they can really fine tune that for you and really give you the best thing that you test for on that, okay? But yes, compliments any other eye formulas you're already doing, okay? All right, folks, my time is up. I'll be in the back. If you have any other questions, thank you so much.